hello you are welcome here let's simplify this math problem we have 15 raised to the power 5 plus 15 raised to the power 4 plus 15 raised to the power 3 plus 15 raised to the power 2 then plus 15 to the power 1 then from here we can rewrite this as 15 raised to the power 4 plus 1 here yeah. then plus this let's leave it as 15 raised to the power 4 then plus also from here let's write this as 15 raised to the power 2 plus 1 then plus 15 raised to the power 2 then plus 15 from here then in the next step we can separate this from the law of indices and this will be 15 raised to the power 4 times 15 raised to the power 1 then plus 15 raised to the power 4 then plus also from here we can write this as 15 raised to the power 2 plus sorry times this is times 15 raised to the power 1 from the law of indices as well then plus 15 square then plus 15 here then from there let's factor what is common from this two times we have 15 raised to the power 4 now common then what is left here is 15 raised to the power 1 which is still 15 then plus what is left here is 1 then plus from these two you know then what is common there is 15 square take it out then we have 15 also is 15 then plus 1 left here then we have plus 15 then in the next step let's add this together and this is 15 to the power 4 multiply by 16 then plus 15 to power 2 then times 16 as well then plus 15 then this 16 is common let's take it out of the bracket so we have 15 raised to the power 4 then plus 15 square then put in bracket then 16 then 16 then plus 15 then in the next step let's rewrite 15 raised to the power 4 also as 15 square times 15 square from the law of indices then plus 15 square then times 16 plus 15 then from here 15 raised to the power 2 is common when we bring that out so this gives us 15 square out what is left is 15 square then plus 1 left here then times 16 plus 15 then in the next step 15 square is 225 so we have 225 into bracket 225 plus 1 then close bracket and 16 plus 15 then in the next step we have 225 plus 1 that's 226 we have 225 multiply by 226 then multiply by 16 plus 15 then in the next step we can write 225 as 200 plus 25 we have 200 plus 25 close bracket then multiply by 200 plus here we can write it as 25 plus 1 then multiply by 16 plus 15 then in the next step we use this bracket to multiply the second bracket use this bracket to multiply this so 200 times 200 plus 40,000 then plus 200 times 25 we have 5000 then plus 200 times 1 that's 200 then plus 25 now open we have 25 times 200 that's still 5000 then plus 25 times 25 that gives us 625 then plus 25 times 1 that's 25 from there then we have expand this bracket then 10 16 
close bracket yeah multiply by 16 plus 15 that we have here so we have multiply by 16 plus 15 then when we sum this together we have 40,000 the 5,000 plus 5,000 that's 10,000 that give us 50,000 already then we have here that's 825 plus 25 that give us 50 from there so we have 50,000 850 from there then multiply by 16 now plus 15 then also from here since we multiply this by 15 we can write 16 as so we have 50,850 then multiply by 10 plus 5 plus 1 that same thing as 16 then plus 15 so easily now we can multiply this and this multiply by 10 will give us 508500 then plus 5 multiply by this give us 254 two five zero then plus multiply by one now we have five zero eight five zero then plus fifteen then when we sum this together from here we have eight one three six zero zero then plus fifteen then when we add fifteen to this give us eight one three six one five so from here we have eight hundred and thirteen thousand six hundred and fifteen as a final answer in this given problem thank you for watching don't forget to step subscribe for more exciting videos and turn the notification bell on see you in the next class and bye for now